if you pick a packet of cigarettes, you see on it that cigarette smoking is dangerous to our head. In diverse languages, they express these things, yet people still buy cigarettes to smoke. Uh, you see, it is within uh, people's fundamental human right to decide what they consume, especially for adults who can make their own decision. The head implication of consuming the sachet drink, when people consume the same content in bottles, I think to be very mild, is highly hypocritical. Part of the presentations we receive at the course of the hearing, a certain segment of the country, the lower population, those who earn lower income, who made their presentations, even raised the issue of fundamental human rights, discrimination, harassment, and victimization. And I believe that uh, if it is within people's choice to go to supermarkets and buy choicey loaves of bread, with butter, we should, in the same manner, allow people to also be able to afford their agege bread. That is, by the way, we believe strongly from the presentation that Nigerians have made before us, the leadership of NAFDAQ, now we are rolling on the same page. So we are not going to go back and forth on that. They have agreed. They are not talking about health implication. The health implication was not the reason why that ban was placed. They are talking about children consuming um, such as drinks. And if you look at it, what about Benelin Godin, another cough syrup being consumed by the children of the rich? They are still sold in pharmacies and stores. They are still there. Nobody has placed a ban on them. We are here as representative of the people to protect the interests of the masses. And I think as a matter of fact, it was one uh, policy of government that was targeted at the poor. Uh, the brother there mentioned the issue of job loss and the population of people that will be affected. We know very well. I may not have the right figure at this moment, but we know very well that the private sector employs more people in this country than the government. What government is doing is just complementing. And uh, it is an industry because it has to do with food, what people consume on a daily basis. In Nigeria here, uh, if you are bereaved, you look for this product. If you are excited, you still look for this product. So whichever way you look at it, it is a product that many of us cannot actually do without. So it plays a very critical role, you know, religiously, economically, and socially in our day-to-day -day lives as citizens. Uh, lastly, the brother who mentioned the issue of uh, journalists are to be addressed as Men, uh, sir, I would like you to go back to your history book. In the armed forces, in this practice as well, and various other practices, there was a time in the history of the world that only men were allowed to do some of these things. Uh, women were only in the kitchen. And we have come to the point now that even in the armed forces, today in the Nigerian army, we have a woman in the Nigerian army. It has never been envisaged 2,000 years ago that in any of these professions, including doctors, including lawyers, that women will be part of it. So part of my advocacy here is also to continue to support our women and to say that in the next, in the 11th assembly, we want to see honorable members beyond 16 women in the parliament of 360 who are also here with us. The ministerial directive that NAVDAC has acted on if you go through that document, the initial time frame was five years. Now, within that period of time, we had COVID, which lasted for like two years, but with devastating effect and rolled back the world for more than 100 years. So our appeal to NAVDAQ, which we believe they will uh, take, uh, the DG has equally confessed that she has full respect for the parliament. Nigerians want to see uh, a time that their elected representatives, they're able to run to them, you know, with their problems. And because we're in a democracy, 
when people talk about whether the health implication is right or not, this is a democracy. If the man has said, I want to die, I think in a democracy the man should be allowed to die. Huh? It has over effect. No, but this is sub to suicide. Uh, let me just add, because recently, my family member went to the hospital and she was told not to eat semovita. In another hospital, they are told her not to eat eba. In another place, they are told her not to eat panediam. She calculated and said, this is the last thing that I'm allowed to eat. Today, they say I should not eat. So it means I can no longer eat any food apart from water. What am I saying in essence? Uh, people have received lots of medical advices here and there. I used to drink before. I've stopped. So, okay. so we should write. People, there should be, NAVDAC should, you know, educate people. And like I will always say, the issue of uh, children consuming alcohol is a parental failure. It's as a result of parental failure. It is not something that members, everybody in the society should be punished for. If you don't control your children and they go drinking alcohol, why should you punish the manufacturer whose only intention was to produce and sell to adults? Why do we punish them? I, I, so I believe in answering that question straightforward. Uh, we believe that the same five years is not too much for the manufacturers to put themselves together and for us to come out of this economic situation. Thank you very much.